Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the South Carolina Gamecocks and the Colorado State Rams. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Rams are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. Number one, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Secondly, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the boards. And lastly, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm, be ready to rotate, help one another on penetration. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. They'll work it around the arc. Number 13 takes the pass. They look to get it to the inside. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. the ball sets the screen for his teammate he missed patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset the defenders doing a great job of applying ball pressure tries to turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move he tries a jump hook can't get the shot to drop Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. The small forward gets the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He takes the shot, way off target. Here's a double team. He shoots from left of the circle. He misses the three. For two, can't get the shot to go. Goes up for two. And the ball goes out of bounds. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Gave it up. The ball goes out of play. Number 55 takes the feed. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Number 13 with the foul. First personal foul. They work it around the perimeter. Try to feed inside. Tries for two. Perfectly executed.
Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. And they get the turnover. Buries it. On the dribble, gives it up. With the fake. He goes with a baby hook. And he missed. Looking for a good shot. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. The small forward with the ball. He puts up the three ball. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Trying to go inside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Up and inside. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. perimeter takes the pass in the paint makes the shot both teams looking to get things going here we strip them in a basketball got a little too fancy too much mustard there baby easy one With anticipation defensively. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Dumps it in. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Goes in. He attempts the trifecta. It sticks. The frustration right there. Gave it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps in. The lay in. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Cross court. For two, Colorado State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. They work the perimeter. Number five fakes the shot. Kicks it out. 
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Goes up for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Turns it over. And he goes with a spin and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he'll kick it back outside. And a momentary look from three-point land. Makes it. Nice fake. He attempts a jump hook. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if he were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. On the dribble, gives it up, takes away the pass. <laughs> Tries for two, doesn't go. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Blacks. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Number 32 draws the personal. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Rams will step to the line for the first time. Makes the first shot. Colorado State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's up on nylon, NBA. On the inside, there's a high screen. Only the replay can do this justice. He gets the rejection. They keep saying, get that stuff out of here. Tries for two. In and out. Working it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. The defense isn't giving an inch. Hey, they're making him take the tough shots. Number 43 makes a great move to draw the foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. Makes those free throws can. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. Kicks off the lazy pass. 
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. It's good. Number 30 is pretty fired up and excited. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. For two, can't get the shot to go. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Gave it up. Picked off. He shoots from the top of the circle. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling at all cylinders right now. On the dribble, gives it up, steals a pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post player. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Steals the ball. Fast break opportunity here. Baskets falls despite the contact. Momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called it. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. There's the screen up on top. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Number 43 is called for the foul. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Number 21 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Number 23 goes to the line. He got it. Second one, no good. He grabs the rebound. Nice high point. They get that rejected. Can't get the shot to drop. And the ball goes out of play. Brad, this place will be dusty if they can score here. Step out on that screener. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. The Rams are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Defense! 
Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The replay will give us a better look. On the outside. Dump it inside. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Looking to move it around the perimeter for two. They still don't score. He intercepts it. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him... With a great block. in front to take it away. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. South Carolina are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. High post screen. So effective, that screen. And off the mark. The center takes the pass in the paint. Takes it off him. to the circle. He nails the bucket. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Top of the circle. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. He does the sweet fake shot. Tries for two. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. They work the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Knocks it down. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. On the outside. He fires it up. He drains the shot. And 
the half. The Rams trail by one. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. State coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half. Day. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. Number 32 is charged with the foul. Full house. And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion. What an edge for the home team. He goes to the free throw line. First one, good. Good. He pump fakes. the bucket doesn't go gave it up here's the offensive drop step in the low block but better defense I'll tell you the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline there appears to be a mismatch in the post let's see if they can get him the ball the power forward handles the feed he shoots from right of the circle off the mark. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And all the way on the baseline. Now the kick out from left of the circle. Rims out. Now the turnaround jumper. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Pressure's getting to it. In the paint. He goes with a baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. He's got a nice shot fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The shooting guard handles the pass. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. He shoots from downtown. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Accepted. Another turnover created by Great D, Brad. Coming inside. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Shoot 
shoots it. Great shot. That's basic. Great block shot. Off the rim and no good. And he'll kick it back outside. The shooting guard receives the pass. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He looks for the bomb. Rims out. He beats him to the punch and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. No rebounding that. Fake. The fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Got the high and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. Dribble gives it up. The center receives the ball. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> He throws up the shot. Nice shot. Number five picks up the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Hits the second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial cross down the stretch, Brad. On the outside. For the deuce. And he missed. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. Well, oh, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. He sinks it. There's the trap. Great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. 
anticipating win. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Good fake. Controlling the ball. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Tries for two. Easy one. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Entry pass in the paint. And he scores despite the hack. Fakes it. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. All right, thanks, Aaron. From the top of the key, off the rim and no good. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Number 55 with the foul. Fourth personal foul. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, I think he's missed the first attack. Play some hoop. Do a little dance. He goes to the line for the first time. Buries it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Gets it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Nick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. For two. Can't get the shot to go. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. High stepping it, man. Take a look right here. Little Bruce go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Nice shot fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Adam in the low block, but he makes the block. And the ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the post up high. Gave it up. 
They work the perimeter. Ten seconds on the clock. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. For the bucket. And he scores it off the glass. The Gamecocks are ahead by eight. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He blocks the shot. Ten on the shot clock. He's got an open look for the shot. Looking for contact. Doesn't go. Up and inside. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Picked out of the air. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Aaron's right about that. Dude. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Working it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Goes up for two. In and out. With a layup. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. On the outside, defense playing up for the deuce. Basket falls despite the contact. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He 
shoots from the top of the key. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Let's it fly. He hits the shot. Inside and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Steals the pass. We're going to move it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. To the charity strike. Makes his first. Colorado State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Both shots good. Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Gave it up. Intercepted. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. The tradition, the chance, the passion, all great. It's obvious. These fans are here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to cheer their team on to victory. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? On the dribble, gives it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Ten on the shot clock. For two. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Got a man in high post. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great that you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Colorado State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Off the rim and no good. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. What kind of energy are we looking at after that timeout, Dick? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Gave it up. Stolen ball. perimeter from the baseline rims out
They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. They'll work it around the arc. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. here after the timeout. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Step back out onto the court. Throws up the prayer. Rims out. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. the State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. The Rams played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first-round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. It's been a fun game, and as always, my 